All right, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, Billie Eilish's album just came out like 20 minutes ago. And for the last few years, I've mostly done like heavier music on my channel. Um, I still do other things every once in a while. But it's been quite a while since I've done something like a really big, um, like mainstream release. You know what I mean? And I think the last Billie Eilish thing I checked out was Everything I Wanted. And I really loved that song. I believe that video is on my channel. I also heard Lovely with Khalid. Um, let me actually just go over to Spotify real quick. Okay, so today I made sure all of the songs that I've heard from her I have liked. Um, so my favorite ones, I've obviously known of her since like 2018 probably i remember them like a lot of people talking about her at school um ignore these dates i really liked most of these i heard them years and years ago but yeah ocean eyes of course i i love that song i think that's one of the most beautiful songs ever same with lovely but stuff like everything i wanted in ocean eyes like the really pretty stuff i really like that like the ambience but copycat and you should see me in a crown are probably my favorite like style that she does like the more dark synthy electronic stuff i think that's really cool too but yeah i've only heard two songs off of this album and i've only heard two songs off of this album i actually just heard oxytocin today like actually 45 minutes ago i heard oxytocin for the first time in the fortnite festival <laughs> i don't have the billy eilish skin though i mean uh ariana grande <laughs> anyway um her new album just came out it's 43 minutes i think this is her shortest album like full-length album um 10 minutes 43 minutes it's like a very standard album but there's a couple five minute songs as well and skimming through her albums on here it doesn't look like she does very many really long songs so um i'm interested in what those sound like but yeah she released this with no singles i've only heard the preview for lunch and i know that's about slobbering up some but yeah, I guess I should just press play because I don't really know what else to say before getting into this. I haven't really heard any of her albums. I think her last album was like more stripped back than the previous stuff that she did, I think. But Oxytocin did really surprise me because it had that dark synth that I really like and lots of bass. But yeah, before I get into this, it would be really cool if you'd subscribe, especially if you want me to check out her discography or anything else that's like mainstream that I've missed recently. Just let me know down in the comment section. Make sure to check out my description. I got a Twitch down there. Um, oh yeah, me and Billie Eilish... I think she was born like eight days after me, like in the same year. So I don't know what that means. Do with that as whatever you want. I don't know. It's like useless information. I swear no one is born in December, man. I don't think there's lyrics yet, sadly. Dude, she is just going straight in with these fucking... Really depressing fucking shit. Gorgeous though, the guitar. Do you still cry? Still cry? Whoa, I've never heard her like. This is really different. This is like really mature. This is really surprising me right now. This. The percussion is, uh, I mean, the production is really good. Damn, Phineas. <laughs> that was really surprising. I mean, that was the best I've ever heard her sing, ever. Um, the instrumental was just beautiful. The production, everything about that was really gorgeous. And the lyrics were making me feel something, so. Hopefully lunch brings up the energy, because uh, I don't need that right now. <laughs> if this transitions, like, really well... Like, if this whole album has transitions, I'm gonna be even more impressed. So she's coming up the stairs, I love the guitar and the drums. The chair, and, and the bass. It's like reminding me of Catfish in the Bottom in for some reason. I could go surf rock really easily. <laughs> that was a good song. I don't know how much I would listen to it, but it was a good song. I'm really surprised by the instrumentation. It is really good. Her vocals on Lunch are more of like what I expected, but on Skinny, I mean, that was just, that was the best singing I've ever heard her do. It 
like there's like a low pass filter on this. It's like I'm underwater. It's really nice. I love the little synth that is like playing around in her vocal production, all the little reverbs and delays. Oh, and there's arpeggiating synth in this? Okay. I love arpeggiating synth. Oh, that was some Minecraft volume beta shit. That was insanely nostalgic. That was like early 2000s. Oh my god. This this is the best Billie Eilish song like I've ever heard probably just for that. All right, behind me to my left, I replaced the uh, Thrice album with Minecraft Volume Beta because that just gave me some like serious nostalgia, man. That was like actually beautiful. I got to re-listen to that. If the rest of this song is that good, this is probably the best Billie Eilish song, period. I'm giving it a like already. I'm serious, I think this is the best song that she's ever made. So that gave me chills. This is really good. It keeps getting better. Who knew we needed a C418 inspired Billie Eilish song? And I'm guessing that was a Phineas feature. I don't know if that's ever been done before in her music, but I wasn't expecting it. It sounded really good. Wow, she's really singing differently, a little bit more fuller. production is incredible like that guitar is so smooth like everything just sounds so nice oh my god th this is a beautiful song these two songs are so fucking good, dude. The synth just comes in. It's so subtle. Wow. Am I standing right now? Shit. Fuck. <laughs> I'm like genuinely like very into this. Just like a fever, like it's weird that I like that it's like, like gay as fuck. You know what I mean? Because... Shit. It's a weird time to pause my sentence. I'm sorry. I was gonna say, I like how gay it is because. <laughs> because, like, dudes that are dating women can relate to it, if that makes sense. Like, usually women sing about men. So, when, like, I listen to most love songs, they're singing about. Like, it's, it's less relatable, but I can, like, relate to this a lot more, you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense.
that was that was way better than I thought it was gonna get. Yeah, that game that. Uh, Sounds like hers. What the fuck is about to happen? song like it's really cool that it's one song i really like that it's really experimental holy shit that is like these are some of the best billy eilish songs i've ever heard like that was so good i really like the beginning but if it just continued like that i probably wouldn't listen to it again maybe a couple times but like in the middle when it started getting experimental with her voice and it kind of sounded like hers kind of like the song cool with you i started really liking it and that just like that made it so much fucking better that was insane there's a lot of like nostalgic sounds on here and i'm like a week older than her so like a lot of the sounds that i find nostalgic are probably uh similar at least a little bit you know what i mean so this is doing a lot of things right i'm really liking this like it almost feels personal how much i'm liking it <laughs> we got tons of guitar tons of bass tons of atmosphere drums reverb vocal effects i can hear a lot of like 90s and early 2000s throughout this and the last two songs are long as well so i'm really hoping there's a lot more experimentation in those It's like trippy. There are definitely some things I don't really like about it. But I like a lot of it. I just wish some, some things were a little different. But I mean, whatever, man. What the fuck? I love how experimental that was. Especially this outro. Oh shit, okay. I wish I liked that one, because there was a lot I liked about it. I'll re-listen to it though, I'm loving this synth. I sense another good one here. It's a little switch ups. I like it a lot. There's no like, it's not formulaic. Last song already. Let's see how the uh, ends end it. Father's eyes 
This song is fucking good. The lyrics are incredible, like in that last section. That is a beautiful way to end the album. Um, dude, that was really good. I love this way more than I thought I would. There's like, it's, it's a very mature album. Like the instrumentals were just incredible on here. The strings were just gorgeous at the end of that song. I don't know, I, I really liked every song on here. Um, Wildflower wasn't bad by any means, you know what I mean? It was just kind of okay. Lunch, again, it was a good song. I just don't know how many times I'm really going to listen to that. Um, and yeah, this one, I do wish I liked it because it was kind of trippy and it was very experimental. I like the outro to it. It was very weird. I don't know what she was whispering. Um, but I, I don't know. I'll have to re-listen to that one. I'm going to re-listen to all of it, of course. I did really like the intro. The lyrics were like really hitting me. Uh, these two were the best on the album, I think. Um, these two were the other two best on the album, and I really love the last two songs. So yeah, as far as I know, this is the best Billie Eilish album, at least. I mean, I haven't heard any of them in full, especially that last album. I'm very unfamiliar with it. But the production on here was incredible. The instrumentals were like... I'm pretty sure those were all real instruments. I don't know for sure. Um, I don't really care. They made it... It sounds very, 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 uh, real. So if it's a MIDI, it's... it's very impressive but it doesn't really matter the production is so good it had that same emotional effect like that was really really good so yeah i think this is probably one of the best modern pop albums i've ever heard this is like borderline pop rock in in some areas just compared to like modern pop which is basically all synth and uh midi drums and everything like that this sounds a little more like pop rock than most modern pop does this is more like a little bit older pop like 90s early 2000s even like 80s um that had a lot of real guitar real drums everything like that um so i really really loved this i'm really glad that um she's kind of going in this direction her and phineas i'm assuming it's just them two that made this as well i think that's what they always do yeah compo yeah 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 so um wow this is very impressive this is really good i don't know man i really love that more than i thought i would i don't really know what else to say about it i'm gonna be listening to a couple of these songs a lot i've never really listened to her like regularly but that might change with this album but anyway man let me know what you thought of this down below let me know your favorite song as well i just love the vibes throughout it was reminding me of a lot of things that were very nostalgic to me so i also loved it um in you know that way as well but yeah man that's basically it um make sure to hit the subscribe button we just passed 6,000 subscribers which is insane leave a like let me know what you thought down below your favorite song suggestions for what i should check out by her or anyone else in the future and that's basically it man take it easy